Hi, today I am going to teach Spring Boot application from the beginning to end. So today is the first day. So first we will see how to configure the Spring Boot project. So first go to the Google and type Spring Initialize. See, it's simple. It's click on this one. It goes to the respective website. You can configure the Spring Boot project over here, right? This is a basic project. Okay, so here first here this is a project. You have two choice Maven and Riddle. You have to select on Maven project. Language you have to select as Java. Java. You don't change over here. Uh, you keep as it is. Spring Boot. It default is select as this. Check it on two dot seven dot one. I'm going to change it as a lowest version six dot this one. Right here I'm going to change it as this. Right. After that project metadata. Here I'm going to create the our group. Group I'm going to create as string project. What object you can you can give here, right? After that the project name I'm going to give here. This is the first uh, my first project. So first I'm going to write first first example. Right. This is the project name. This is our group, right? This is a group. Here you have package has been created as. Com Spring Project first example. After the package, you have to select as Java. Java, I'm going to select the lowest one. Okay, uh, later on I'll be explain why I select of the lowest one. Here you have to select as lot uh, lowest one, right? Okay, so here you can see if you are installing Java, what is the version you are installing? You can check it here. Java. You go to the CMD Java space version. See here, there one point eight. Say it was all right. Okay, so you have to select as a low version. You have to install and select the low version. Right, that's the thing you have to do it. Our dependencies. Okay, we have a uh, add the more dependencies of the project. Right. So basic, I am going to add the dependencies over. It's a web. It's a server. It's a web application. Only the web. Only I am going to insert. This is only basics. Right. It's include restful. You can see here this restful. All the stuff are there. The restful API you can add and the restful all the stuff. We will be this one we are using for the uh, postman. We will do it. Okay, the basics example we will do it. Right, right. Okay. Now if you are done with all the stuff, you just click generate. Now your project has zip has been created successfully. Right click, show in folder, go here, copy. Going to put it as a desktop. I take extract file. I'm going to extract it. That's it. The file is extracted. I put it my desktop. Right. Now here, this is on. You can see here. If there are dependencies, there are many dependencies there. Okay, the basic I only one we have to install it. You must know this one. Im uh, and re repository. Okay, MVN repository. If you type this one, it goes to the Maven repository. Here, yeah, there are many repository there. You will be able to see here. Whatever repository you can search here. So, if it is a MySQL, here write MVN. Type MySQL. This is like Java. You are finding the MySQL in Java. You you have to use this one. MySQL connected Java for MySQL. That's a that's the thing you have to type here. MVN MySQL. You can get the link, and you have to add the dependencies. That very simple. You have to get it the lowest one. Okay, here we will be teaching this one also later on. I just explain it how to get the dependencies. Okay, that's that's the thing we have to type. Right? Okay. Now, how to add the dependencies? Right. We will later on. We will be see in deeply. Okay. Now we have project is we have configured. If you are not installed the Intel J ID, you have to install it. Intel J ID, this one. This is a very professional. If you are using to Spring Boot application, earlier I will explain it on earlier Eclipse ID. So Eclipse, uh, Eclipse stand, this one is the professional. It's easy to use, right? So I already use it, uh, install it. You have you have to download and install in your machine, right? Very simple. It is easy to configure one. 
right after done the stuff if you open it then you have to open the project go to the file open my project is reside on where inside the desktop so desktop you have a project name is project first example this is the my example okay if you have not to open click and okay you don't do like this select the project you have to expand it here you can see here the first example this is the file which you want to uh, open this is the file which you want to open click on the file click ok trust project this thing that's the thing we have right ok uh, right terminate right the current project i have to terminate and open into my new project right that's the stuff we have to right my project is successfully added into my intellij id so here this is the structure git ignore mb nb all the stuff are there Born home doc xml this is the you double click on the sorry now it's configuring but wait until this project is configured it's configured right? Right. Okay. you can see here so double click and open it home dot xml this is a hard top spring boot application without this home dot xml it is not do anything else here dependency i added only the one dependency i added i'm not at the mysql dependency JP, I am not added only only the one with the basic dependency I added separate. Okay, this RESTful API we can do it right. Okay, now what I am going to use here this is the dependencies part. How to add the dependency we will be teaching uh, later on. Okay, so you go to here, go to find the dependency you have to add it inside these dependencies. Okay, so I will be doing it in later on. So, first what I am going to do here is this is your form.xml. After that, go to the SRC inside SRC main. You have a Java folder. This is the main method. You can see the main method. This is the main method. You can see the main method, right? So here, after that, go to the resources folder. Here you can see application dot properties. Okay, here this is the main method of Java. Public uh, static void. Here the way the program is running. Before that, we have to give the port. Port. We have to give the port. Which port your application will be running? web application so double click the application here we have to write the port we have to ask the port it's a must okay write the port okay right now here i am going to write server dot port dot write Support I have assigned right. Okay, after that, this is the thing we have to do it. I have to assign the port. Basically, we have to assign the port, save all, and again I'm going to do it again. I'm going to the port I have given. After that, uh, we have given the another thing is a project name. This, is my, this one I have to do it here. Project name, you have to write type spring application name of the project, you have to type as first example. whether it is working fine or not click on the first example application this is our main project your main method right click each program main method will be run first same thing as a spring boot application as well select the uh, first example application right click you can see here the run you click on this one now you can see the project is configuring there at the first time it will be configuring like this right here it's configuring so all these things are configuring now it is beginning to run okay here it's beginning to running run the application beginning to running here you can see here uh okay right you can see here the start of, if you are get this message starting your first application it will be running here it will be run jvm running 
it will be running your application if the if you have got any error it will be display below okay at the moment we don't have error will run the application okay so it will be run the application so the run, application is running without any error right now i am going to create the controller another controller i am going to create so select this package i am going to create another package right click new package i am going to create control uh, you have to create, create the controller as test controller i am going to type test controller test controller here click select this one here select the uh, package right click i am going to create the java class this one also test controller i am going to test controller i have to create a class test controller right this is a class i have to create right. now here this class first i am going to create the create the annotation the annotation is must if you go here first example application you can see the annotation spring boot application this is the annotation this is the our uh, server part this is annotation the spring boot each and everything is annotation if it is a strand section there will be the annotation very simple right rather than compare uh, compare to server right public class controller okay so here I am going to create one method public white. Here I am going to write first test. Got to create the method first test. Got to write string message. I am going to create the variable equal. This is my first application. First application. message i am passing here so you write system dot system dot out dot println you have to write this message you have to pass it here right if you write like this it won't run so you have to add the rest controller here. rest restful control rest controller this is this one is a we will be able to access the restful api if you are at the restful controller we will be teaching the uh, i'll show you in few minutes what is the purpose of we are importing the rest controller i'll show you in few, uh, few minutes later right so yeah, after that we have write this is this one as a cross origin this one should be the api okay so how to give the particular api we have to use it one this one also we have to take to come out later on okay so here after that we have write another one is called as uh, this one we have to call it as the one which is a this one rest mapping okay rest mapping uh, request mapping right so here back to my spring boot application the so request mapping this is a part of request mapping So here, add it here. Annotation request mapping. So passing this URL. Same URL I'm going to pass it. I'll be extend. Don't worry. Right. Now write simply request mapping API project test. This is the U U URL we have to enter here. If the project is running. So here we have to add. This one should be the get mapping annotation. Get mapping right now. Here, yeah. first I will be run the project and see what the output will be. So, first, if you are not if you are not uh, installed the Postman in your machine, you must install the Postman. Postman, which will be helping to test the RESTful API whether the API request is coming true or false, if it is working success or not. Okay, we will be the testing purpose. We have to uh, we have to assume the Postman. Okay, we have to use it right. How to use after? install and open it it's look like this you have to write here it's a new api request okay here your api success you have to write like this okay uh so uh it's a new one what is this uh, new collection sorry new api request the name of this one as uh example 
cukup makwai wa sepotong is working on now right now here this, this one I have to load it now I'm going to exit the project execute the project right first we have a connection is success all the stuff now we we made some changes right so here first you have to execute the project stop and run rerun run again okay now you'll be see there is any other it will be no okay here my project is again will be starting we'll see whether it's getting any other I haven't get any error at the moment now let's test this api whether it's working fine or not so how to work with this api how to type on the postman okay, this is the url this is the port okay so here's a port and this is the api how to use it this one as just copy this one and just copy one go to back here my postman to type here http http now type http localhost the port the localhost the port you have to write the port which port you have given here the port you have to go on here this is the port where your spring boot application will run so this port same port you have to write 8888 slash what is the url you have given you have to write copy it here what is the url the project is which one this is the url this is the api url api project test your test it one okay now it's get mapping this all the message will be get mapping right so this is the one you have to write and your this one should be the get okay you have to put it the get mapping click send it's working right now the message where it, it the message is not working but it's one is printing the one is print off to go to the your project you can see here the output will be displayed here here this is my first application so the output will be displayed here at the console you will be see the output over here right very simple Right, it's very simple. It's working fine. Now here I have only have declared one method, created one method. I'm going to create two methods. What happen? It's the same thing. I just copy and paste it over here. This one I am going to name it as one. Okay, this is my second application. I'm going to name it as second. Now can. Now, now, will you tell? Is it work? Will you tell? Is it work? Now let's run an app, run the application. Again, stop and run it. Now you can see here. There will be the error displayed. Yes, error display. What? Spring Boot can't understand the. There are two methods are there. This is one. This is two. But the only one get mapping get mapping. Which get mapping it will be printed? Okay, there will be the two get mapping annotation is there. So this kind of purpose, how to uh, solve this problem? So you have to type here. Uh, you have to type over here. You have to type over here like this. Okay, annotation here. You write write path. You have to write. Uh, bracket inside this bracket you write path equal you write get i just you, whatever name you can give get test one or whatever you can give it here like this path get one okay so if you are if you type this annotation this one should be work okay so here we no need the path for the first this is this is your first example so that understanding purpose i want to put it here you will be able to write without a path you just copy sorry you can write here like this without a path it should be work so i'll be get rid of other stuff i only type the path path we no need one it will be work all right it will be work right now let's check this one should be a message too all right now you can see here now let's save all again we re rerun the project and check
okay now is now is there is no error now let's go to the postman postman and do the stuff you have to open the postman right where is the postman this one postman the postman right now here if it is type this one now here if you are type slash what will be the return here slash type this one get you have to slash get or you are get message one if you have send it one we'll see here what is a uh, things printed over here you can the my first step application will be printed okay print out the my example right now if you are going to type sorry type here to send it right now let's back to her project here this is my second application okay do you understand that this is the this how the get method work okay get get mapping work okay there if you if it is a two mapping this how the this how we have work with if you have four mapping you have to write like this uh, url you have to different path path this is the basic stuff you must study okay this is a path if you are write like this is a professional you will be able to write like this as well it's no problem right this is this one is a very must right this is a restful a, restful controller I mean this is a, this all are restful api you type the restful part over here this is a guest the post we have a lot of methods get post put patch delete this all the stuff you will be learn okay later on thank you for watching if you have any doubt on this you can ask me anytime if you love my channel please subscribe me like me thank you for watching